Hey, what's up, fishing folks? You know what time it is, all right? What's going on? It's your boy, Alan W. Brown, and I'm fishing with Tuck. Let's get it. Get up off the couch. It's time to go fishing. Get up out the house. It's time to go fishing. Go and get the kids. It's time to go fishing. You'll be glad you did. It's time to go fishing. Folks at home, I'm doing this for a reason. I don't coach. I want y'all to be... I want y'all to have the same eyes that I have, all right? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, now... <laughs> What you want to do when casting give yourself a little bit of a little bit of line at the, oh. at the bottom now you did yourself a little bit of line to work with a little bit of momentum they give you momentum all right. okay mm -hmm. all right now first things first your uh index finger mm -hmm. all right yep there you go and see right here this is called the bell all right, all right and what you do now the bell has to click to stay in place all right, all right. Well, mine's a little old, it won't click, but <laughs> you'll feel it. But now, well, what you can do is uh, take this line with your index finger. Yep, you want to hold that in place. All right. You got to hold it so tight, you can leave a little. Yeah, that's don't, yeah. Like, it's like it's a bad habit to do that. Like, when you're starting off, just finesse that a little bit. All right, with your other hand, take and flip the bell. With your other hand, flip the bell. Yep. Just like that. Try another way. I like to, I like to have the like the bell facing down. There you go. So you, you know, you still, you spin it by hand. Oh, okay. Just face the bell down like that. Yep. And with uh, with your, you know middle finger or both fingers, it don't matter. Mm -hmm. Flip the bell back. Yep. And you catch your line at the same time. Yep. All right then. We can just practice that action right there. I so see with the bell facing down. Take your other hand. Mm -hmm. And uh, flip the bell up and catch the line. Yep, at the same time, then bring oh. it over. Wham, bam. Like that. Like a pro, yep. Like and see that. now, with your line over, everything is secure, all right? Wow. Now, that, that finger, you, uh, your uh, pointer finger, that controls all right, your line, all right? Okay. So, don't let go yet. Right. But when you go to cast back, you, you let it go. Probably at random treetops, all right? So it's just a smooth cast. Absolutely, because the fish is up there. <laughs> yep. Oh, not bad. All right, go ahead and close your bell by hand. Yeah, by hand. All right, yep, and reel up your slack. And go ahead and skip over that grass if you can. Just reel up, reel, crank fast, just reel fast. Crank. Yeah, all the way on there. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad for a first cast. I thought I caught something. The first cast was not horrible at all. I can, uh, I have seen worse. And my man over there, throw it up one time for my whoop. <laughs> I know he catching them, man, for real. Hey, look, I'm gonna take you to the river with me, for real. And he quiet, so he don't want nobody to know he catching nothing. We see you over there. I got ears. <laughs> my ears is facing that way. <laughs> Oh, I'm here to splash. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell the people what uh, what you got out right now. Like, what's good? What's popping on yours? All right, my my latest album is called In God I Trust. So that dropped on May the 28th. Um, that's doing very well. Um, features um, got features from GI Wonder, um, Mike Creams, um, a guy named Leah Maya. Um, it's just an awesome project. It just talks about how. You know, important it is that we trust God, especially in these times in this world that we live in, man. Like, very important and vital that we put our faith in Jesus Christ, because there's so much that's going on in this world. Like, if you ain't trusting in God, I don't know how you're gonna make it through. I don't know how you make it through without God. Um, so, you, you go check it out. Um, in God I Trust is on Spotify, Apple Music, um, iTunes, wherever you, even Pandora is on there as well. Wherever you download music and stream music, um, it's on Amazon as well. So just go check it out. And I will put those uh, links in the description box below. All right, fishing folks. Yeah. We're gonna motivate somebody today. Yeah. That's what I love to do too. I, I love to like motivate people, man, and just like, you know what I'm saying? Raise the vibration, you know what I'm saying? Cause, you know, being happy is a choice. And sometimes we need a little help making some choices, you know. Right. So, <laughs> let, me, yeah, let me help you choose to be happy. Come on, let's go fishing. And it all really come down to your mind, like the thoughts that we think, man. That, that Absolutely. Really control Positive that. thoughts, yeah. If 
if you think negative all the time, you ain't gonna be happy. <laughs> yeah, trying to find faults in others, you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna cut it. You be positive, this is all biblical. It's in the word, it tells you. You know, as, you, as a man think it, so is he. It ain't go like this, you know, my, I mean, this religion is a hot topic, but the bottom line is no matter what you believe, yeah. you know, treat others the way you want to be treated right. and just believe in yourself. Right. Because, you know, that's right. that's how you make it. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you the yellow and I'm taking the orange, all right? Because, right. uh, I, see, I, I buddy over here, see, here, see his is orange and yellow. Mm -hmm. So I'm going yellow and I got orange, so we're going <laughs> to split the colors in half. But this is, this is all I buy. It's not on purpose. That's all they make. They make red and white orange. That's all they make. Mm -hmm. They don't make blue or green. <laughs> you know, I'm just messing with it. See, I'm just messing with it. <laughs> I'm just messing with it. Hey, it ain't even like that. I'm just messing with it. <laughs> I love science and stuff, and I don't want to get into it. But the thing is, starting off with the harder thing first, it kind of helps you. Uh, I must remember a little bit better. In layman's terms. <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it. <laughs> Alright, see look. You see that little brim right there? You see that clump of grass mm -hmm. with the two green strands coming out of it? Mm -hmm. It's a fish right there. And now it's it. under it. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. I see it. Now listen. Throw past the fish. It will. Oh, no, let me adjust this real quick. Throw past the fish. Okay, just get in the area. It'll come to you. Alright. Pond ain't got no. Yeah, pond ain't got no no current. This pond ain't got no current in it, so it's like the center just go on its own. And that, that he just like where you standing, just cast straight ahead. Oh yeah, take your time, take your time. He cruising, he hungry. They cruising, they looking. All right, perfect. Now just focus on distance. I right? don't worry about accuracy. Just distance. Oh man, that is beautiful. Good. Mm. Good God, like James Brown, close the bell, please. Yeah, right. Very good. Very, very good. I'm smiling over here. <laughs> yeah, because I, right. I couldn't do that before. Now I'm going to show you a very, very simple but effective uh, retreat, right? It's called just simple stop and go, all right? Uh -huh. So what you do is you made a cast, you know, let it, uh -huh. you know, let it sit. Uh -huh. Maybe for, you know, maybe 10, 20 seconds or so. Uh -huh. No bite, all right? Now was you slowly, really any slack that you got already. All right, now stop right there. Let's see, what I like to do is, once I got my slack all wound up, mm -hmm. pause for a second. Well maybe, well, maybe four or five seconds, you know. Mm -hmm. And now with your rod tip, just you know, raise your rod tip up. Yes. Yep, raise your rod tip and crank up at the top. Stop right there, let your rod tip go back down. All right, now crank up your slack. Quick, 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 quick. Set the hook. Oh, oh so pause, pause, pause. That was a false alarm. Now when you set the hook, this is a quick snap of the wrist. It's a snap on the pull. So when I tell you, snap, pull, push, set the hook. Oh, da, 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 stupid fish. Uh, All right, now set the hook. <laughs> no, come on back, man. That sorry fish, it ain't your fault this time. Swing up, yep, swing up high. Oh, all right, I saved your life. Just, you owe me a dollar. Give me a dollar. Oh, All right, fishing folks, um, listen. almost got it. Yes, you did. That was, uh, I might have to change hooks now. This is, um, it was a trout hook, but it still might be too big of a trout hook. I may have to go to another size hook. But please, by all means, I'm going I'm to I'm run you through it at least two more times. And I'm going to set you off on your own. Click your wings and right. push out your nest. Gotcha. All right, so you have to. All right. These bluegill have a tendency to school up, you know, so where there's one, there's more. All right. All right. And uh, if you catch it right, you know, if you catch them right, they they will bite the smallest chunk of worm, man, because there's so much competition. Right. Flip the bell, catch the line. Very good. All right. Now you set now. Now gather yourself and make that cast. Distance, distance. Thanking y'all right on the line. That's all good. Hope the whole thing don't come down. Yeah, you just added to the collection. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, hey, uh, better now. I'm not the only one. You leaving your mark everywhere today, buddy. <laughs> you see that? Okay, fishing folks. Uh, 
let's take uh, a break real quick. Let's talk to the man. Because uh -huh. I know if you don't love him by now, you'll love him after we talk. Because <laughs> I love him already. So, mm -hmm. Mr. Alan Brown. Yes, sir. Mr. Tuck. Brown Brown. <laughs> All right. Every time I hear Brown, I think of a deal. Because, you know, my mind has been programmed like that. But anyway. Right, right. My, my nieces and nephews, they, they try to pick with me with that. Yeah, Mr. Brown. Mr. Mr. Brown. You never, you better not ever have no ashy knees. And I have. They got me with that before, too. Oh, I'm going to call slipping. <laughs> I hope you learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did, I did. Okay, we got a tech titan now, you gonna find right? <laughs> you actually like Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown for real. <laughs> you know, my niece and nephews, you know how kids is. I didn't know. You see that? Right. See them bobs in the back? Mm hmm It's called a bait holder, all right? And so, now, the little teeny tiny hook, <clears throat> the little brim comes up to pull it, but no, it's snag, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why I love these, because you can, like, if the fish want to be quick or they're short striking, there's mm. a bait holder hook on the back. There's bobs on the back that hold that bait a little bit tighter. Mm, okay. Yep. That's the magic. That's magic. All right. <laughs> so, I did my part. The rest is on you. You got to catch them. Right. You got to catch them, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you released a little bit too early. All right. Just, um. Uh, oh, right, yeah, the clump of grass. Yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, trying to get hung up and caught up in that line right there. Mm. Yep. Yep. Get us down. Yeah, a little side cast. Oh, I'm clear. Go ahead. Very good. That is very good. Close the bell. Yep. Right there. Ho ho. Don't move it too soon. Kind of, you know, five Mississippi is good enough. And after that, then just raise the rod chip up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm going to put you on. All right. You know, but just in case, you know, you want to go again, man, they can't talk trash on you because, yeah, you've been fishing and you've been taught a little bit now and you've done it. You right. got hands on, you got skin in the game. Right. I, I love all right. the can. Hey, you got skin in the game, all right? We want to get on the tip of that shade right there. So that's what I, that's what I want to bank on is the shade. As the shade moves in, the fish will gravitate over that way. <clears throat> All right, and there you are. Now, if you could, the same stop and go technique. Now, can you tell us a little bit about your upbringing? You know, it's like as far as fishing and like living in the country, then in Southern Virginia, being outdoors and as yeah. a kid and stuff. Uh, as a kid, I mean, honestly, my parents, they didn't really take us fishing and like, hunting and stuff like that. We really didn't um, do a lot of stuff like that. Um, you know, therefore, you know, I, I did, you know, I was outside a lot, but most of the time just playing sports, basketball, football, stuff like that. Kind of what gave, got me interested in music, really, because, you know, I spent a lot of time indoors, you know, watching the music videos and looked up to people like a Lil Wayne and all these guys. And, and I really got um, found a love for hip-hop music as a whole. And uh, that's when I began rapping when I was like 12 years old. You know, just trying to be like those guys, you know. So, you know, we all, I guess all our paths are different. You know, God takes us all on different journeys and different paths, you know. And right now you got a bite hold, don't move no okay. more. Let the fish. Okay. That was a pretty good bite. <clears throat> yeah, uh, let's see. Bring up the slack a little bit. That's good right there. Yep. Now really cranking you slack a little bit. And keep your rod tip. Yeah. That's, when, that's good. See when you get ready to set the hook, you can you got plenty of room to okay. you know, snap. Close your bell. Okay. And then really you slack, please. Keep the rod tip straight in front of you. Yep. Now come on in. Yep. Easy. That's good right there. Keep on going. <clears throat> now I say it's a. You want to stop and go. All right. Probably it's about five Mississippi. And then after five Mississippi, just bring it in maybe a foot, foot and a half. Yeah. That's good. Yep. Another five Mississippi. No, there you go. See? On the pause. And get ready. Really slack, really slack. Hold on. Now set the hook, swing back, swing back. 
No, uh, 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 stop right there. Man, these fish are like impossible today. <laughs> at, at least it's not taking your bait. All right, that's a good point. <laughs> all right, it's repeat to stop and go. You know, when there's one fish, it's usually more. It's schooled up. Like rain about a foot and pause. See, on the, probably on that, that was almost four Mississippi right there. We cut it close before we pulled it from him. <laughs> they say, they out here, man, they out here. Mm -hmm. And there you go, Michael catching them. Mm. Throwing them up, throwing them numbers up. He not bored. I tell you everybody, he having a good time. I'm over here, I'm stuck training. <laughs> I'm stuck with the rookie house, man. <laughs> nah, I don't mind. Yeah. This, is a, this is amazing for me. All right, another little trick, okay? When it goes down to it like that, I thread the bait all the way up and I take my thumb and I poke through just the skin where I feel the tip of the arm, um, just, just, just where I can barely feel it on my thumb. And that way, the next time you go for it, you'll be able to hook him a lot easier, all right? <laughs> now, I, and I have never shared this now. I, my girls ain't old enough to understand yet. I look for the slightest little change, slightest little anything. See, I don't see no bat, I don't see no brim over here. Not over here. This is your calling. <laughs> I appreciate hey music is your calling. I yeah. like to you put me in the studio and then I can Ooh, show you yeah. I can show you something. I believe it. <laughs> I definitely believe it. Now I'm gonna give it over back to you. Yes, I'll set oh hold on, hold on. Really in your slack? Really in your slack slowly, slowly, slowly. Bring your rod tip down. I really in your slack. Faster, faster, fast. There you go. Bring him in, baby! We got one. Yes, let me get all that. Let me get every bit of that. Get it out the mud. Got it out the mud. Got it out the mud, yeah. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, I got a fish. Yes. Yeah. We caught a fish. That's a swamp yeah. monster, man. It's not a fish. <laughs> I got one. Hold up. This is world history. Yeah. Hold up. Let me let me clean them. <laughs> let me clean it off for you. All right. Your Majesty. Let me let me hold it up. <laughs> now, if you could please reel in your slack. All right. I gotta get all right now, sir. As a Sergeant Major would hold his rifle. <laughs> World history, you just caught a fish. Oh my yeah. God. You yeah. Tell the folks, explain it. Explain yes. it all. Thanks to my coach right here, Mr. Tuck, fishing with Tuck. I caught my first fish, man. I, I told y'all I'm not a fisherman. I, this is probably the first time I've been fishing like this um, ever. And I was able to catch a fish because of my bro right here. Uh, fishing with Tuck, my bro right here, helped me and taught me taught me a few things. And now here I am catching my first fish. Thank you, brother. Sometimes when we're fishing in grass like this, uh, the clumps of grass are getting hung up in your guides and that'll stop you from casting too. Trick question, how long you been rapping? I've been rapping since I was 12 years old. 12 years old, very good. So I, didn't, um, I didn't start Close rapping. Close your bell. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I started rapping when I was 12. Like I said, I used to look up to like Lil Wayne. He was my favorite rapper. I used to love Lil Wayne. Well, why is that? <laughs> I don't know. Just the cash money to all of that. that okay. Really, that really grabbed, grabbed a hold of pretty much all of them. All the people my age at that, that time. Yeah, for real. It really grabbed my attention, but uh, Yeah, but uh, yeah, and then, like I said, when I truly gave my life- Oh, right, right, get ready, hold on. Rod tip down, okay. rod tip down. All right. right now, you on the prowl, like a lion on the prowl. <laughs> hold on. Crank in just like, just a teeny little bit, slowly, slowly. Stop. Mm -hmm. Every time we get deep in conversation, the fish just yeah. interrupt us, you know, we're <laughs> getting tired of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I tell you what, do me a favor, please bring it on in. Well, you know, as we used to rap in school, people used to always say, "Man, you, you pretty good." They used to tell me all the time, "You should do, you should do something by yourself." I used to always say, "I ain't never doing nothing by myself." It's me and my brothers, <laughs> because my brothers, they they wasn't really, they 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 was really doing it because I was doing it. You know what I mean? It was just something that we did together. But it just kind of, it kind of came to me more naturally. So, you know, it's just something that I just love to do at a young age, very young age. And, uh, and I, when I got saved, like, real, I, I thought I couldn't rap no more. I didn't even know people rap like that. 
Oh. Now, in a minute, I want you to take us through this safe journey before your lowest point and after when you came to this uh, wonderful human being that you are now. So I got to take the camera I got off him. I got to take the shine off of folks because they're doing good and they're doing too good. Matter of fact, I don't want to steal my shine now. I'm going to go home and put some catfish on this hook. You missed one? You missed one? Uh oh. Very important, like you know, hey, drag set because I missed like two big fish this year because mm. my drag won't set, man. Mm. Now I gotta go to the ocean to redeem myself. You know <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to flip, you know all right? It's real easy. See, what you do is you let off mount a line as your rod tip close to it, and <clears throat> I hold this and I hold it like right here, shoulder height, <clears throat> and uh, with one motion. Like, I, I help it, you know. Mm. I help it a little bit, but really the rod mm. is gonna do all the work. Now, this finger still comes into play, so you have to. Okay. So as I swing it, there you go, right there. And so that's called a flip. Right. Oh, snap here, take your rod, take your rod, take your rod. See that off there, flip. We're gonna catch a fish now. Oh, ho, ho, don't don't move oh. it prematurely, hold on. Right. See, look, when he, when the fish takes it up under water, all right, that's when, hold on. See, there you go, there you go, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. See how he, he running with it? Not yet. He has to let him get it. All right. Yeah, let, the, when the fish commits to it fully, that's when we want to set the hook, all right? All right. And just watch him. See how he's not committing to it. It's uh -huh. just good bites. We want him to take it. And it's all, all right. you, all right. fresh and everything. Oh, hold on, let me see this real quick. Yeah, I seen that from a distance. <laughs> and now if you can make a cast, please. <clears throat> I'm clear. Go ahead. Go ahead. You you'll be good on the boat. You look you you a side cast is good for you. Mm. <clears throat> so if you comfortable with that side cast, work uh -huh. that. Let that be your bread and butter. Right. Cause you know what they say, you dance with who brung you. All right. <laughs> All right, now let me let me coach you through this real quick now. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, ride tips right ahead. All right. Now go ahead and really be slack. Slowly. This is where you got bit at last time? Yeah, probably a little bit more up. Okay. It went under. You got the hang of the technique. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> let me know, uh, hollow when you're getting a bite, all right? All right. Yeah, because I just can. moved over there that way. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I see. There you go. Now listen. Now set the hook. Set the hook. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. So you don't get too many chances like that. Because when you see them, that first initial hit be ready. Oh, so when the first go under? Yeah, with the first run, yeah. Right. We're really long, man. Okay, they, 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 yeah, these fish look quick. I see, That's, I see why you have a little trouble there. Close your bail. All right. Ooh, man, I'm gonna have to, I need a ruler, like, pap, smack that hand. <laughs> 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 All right, let's, now let us run through the motion. Let's, uh, you call it one or two. Huh? Call one or two. You call two. I call right? one. one. Okay, let's bring it. Let's make yeah. it two. All right. All right. Now I'm 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 gonna talk a little bit less and less. I need you to. All right. I need you to kick in. I need that fisherman instinct to kick in. <laughs> All right. Got a couple feet and stop. Oh, right there. All right. Now set the hook. Bring it. Bring it in. Bring it in. Oh, fish. Don't. Yep. Let's the. All right. Go ahead. I right, hold. Leave right there. Leave right there. Yep. All right, hold. now, yep, bring him on in quick, quick, quick. There you go, buddy. Woo -hoo -hoo. You redeemed yourself. I was, getting ready, I was getting ready to send you, I was getting ready to send you pack until you redeemed yourself. <laughs> Let's get it, folks. All right, I want to take a picture of this. All right, would you like to do the honors of releasing the fish? Or, oh, I can, it don't matter. You can do it. <laughs> All right. We're going to let this one go back. Fish number two. Throw it up in the air one time. So you know what? I wanted um one thing that uh I really wanted to know is uh your story, man, like your journey of like you know, you kinda at your lowest point, you know, um, you know, and how you kind of built yourself back up into who you are today. Well, my my journey is, you know, my parents, they always kept us in church. So like, so when I was a kid, I remember my parents, they sat me and my brothers down 
and actually made us watch the movie about Jesus, his life, about the life of Jesus Christ. I probably was about eight or nine years old then. Um, so when I watched that movie and seen what he did for us and everything, um, I accepted him into my life at that point. And so I believe I was saved right there, but I didn't truly like take it seriously or anything like that. I just went on with my life and, you know, I did the typical things that a kid would do, a teenager. I, I um, drank alcohol, smoked weed a lot, um, drugs, girls, all that, you name it, pornography. I got stuck and wrapped up into all of that. And things really changed for me in my life um, when I met my wife. Well, she wasn't my wife at the time, but when I met, met my wife, um, and then, like I remember when I was about 20 years old, something happened like I remember I had just um just um, finished smoking a blunt <clears throat> coming yeah. in the house highs I don't know what and, and and this is a true story like I walked in the house and on tv was this lady she was talking about how she died and went to heaven and came back talking about how she saw Jesus and everything and I don't know why, why but that just really caught me I was stuck like and it made me think about my life if I was to die and go to heaven right now would God be pleased with the way that I'm living and it just made me think about my life and the way that I was living. And like I said, the seed had already been planted. I was in church and everything like that, and the seed had already been um, planted. It just, I just had, what hadn't um, fed it yet for it to take root. So when that happened, I really examined my life and looked at my life. Um, and God really led me to get, get baptized again. And, um, and this time when I got baptized, I did it for the right reasons. Um, and I truly began to live my life for Jesus Christ at the age of about 20. Um, but even after I gave my life to Christ, I experienced um, still a lot of ups and downs. I experienced depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, and all of that. You know, we all go through, I truly believe we all go through something in life that tries to destroy us and take us out. Um, and, we, and we need God. We really do. We really need God. We need a power higher than ourselves to help and bring us through it. A lot of times. I know how much uh, you love music? About as much mm -hmm. as I love fishing, if y'all mm -hmm. can comprehend that. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what, during this time, like in your teenage years, in your 20s, when you was, you know, chasing the women, mm -hmm. throwing your money away on drugs and all mm -hmm. this other stuff, right. where was the music in your life? <sighs> I always lo loved hip hop music from a little kid. Um, when I was about the age of 12 was when I tried to rap myself. Not only me, but me and my brothers. We was the Brown Brothers, you know, infamous Brown Brothers, <laughs> Amherst, Virginia. Yeah, but we was the Brown mm -hmm. Brothers. We rapped all the way through school and everything. And, you know, I didn't really take it seriously until people kept coming to me and telling me, man, you're actually pretty good. Man, you need to you need to do something by yourself. And I was like, no, nah, I'm Brown Brothers for life. I ain't never done nothing by myself. But we talked about money, sex, drugs, I probably had the dirtiest mouth you could ever hear of a kid. Um, I talked about a lot of things that I didn't really do. Um, talking about killing people and I had never even picked up a gun. <laughs> yeah, but it was all just doing what I heard, the people that I looked up to, like Lil Wayne and Fabulous and, and um, just, just the people that I used to listen to. Um, but it wasn't really me. I was just trying to be somebody that, be somebody that I wasn't really. Um, so. When I truly gave my life to Christ, after I had that experience, um, that I, when I gave my life to Christ, that was when I kind of thought I had to give up the music. I thought, like, ain't no way I can rap now, because nobody, nobody raps for God. <laughs> I didn't even know Christian rap existed. I didn't even know that was a thing until my sister came along, and uh, my sister came along and played me some music by Lecrae. And when I heard that, that really just blew the roof off of my mind to think people are actually rapping for God. And it just made me think, man, you can really rap for God. And God was just using that moment and hearing that, he was using that to show me that I could use my talent of rapping for him as well. And that was when I was about the age of 20. And uh, from there, I just began to write, began to, I had stopped writing, stopped rapping for a long time. Um, but from there, after I heard that, I just began to do it myself, try it, writing, and I'm experimenting with different stuff. Um, I didn't have no studio, nothing to record on. I didn't have nothing like that. I would use karaoke machines. Humble beginning. Humble beginning. <laughs> I, I would use whatever I could. But it took me about, I did that for probably about three or four years before I connected with somebody that actually had some equipment for me to really record something. And it's just been a journey since, and you know, um, 
about 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 10 years later, I'm still going. And probably, I feel like now I'm where, I'm at the point now where I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I really know what I'm doing. And, but now I know on my next album, it's gonna be it's gonna be really dope because I know what I'm doing now. Um, the gift is being has, is being perfected, and you know I've been through some stuff and I got a lot to talk about. Uh, I know you never been fishing before. I never picked up a mm -hmm. rod before. Mm -hmm. So Rachel Day, how was today? Today was yeah. awesome, man. <laughs> fishing with Tuck, I learned <laughs> I learned how to throw a reel into the water the right way, and not only did I throw it into the water, I caught two fish. Not one fish, I yeah, caught bro. two fish. Put that on the song, bro. <laughs> yeah, I caught two fish um, today. Uh -oh. You know, before today, as as he saw in the beginning, I kept getting it in the dirt, and I, I got it up on the on the light pole one yeah we one time. So like, uh, I didn't really, know what I was doing. So you're never gonna lay that down. No, <laughs> but you know, I kept trying, kept trying, kept trying. He kept showing me, being patient with me, and. And before you knew it, I'm, I'm throwing it in the water. And I picked up two of them. Yeah. <laughs> I understand his uh, legacy is important. Yeah. You no, know, so what type of legacy do you seek to leave behind? And to break it down as far as like your musical legacy, your legacy as a family man, as a husband, as a provider, as a daddy, mm -hmm. and yeah. your legacy as a human being. My legacy from the music point, I want to be able to, when I leave this world, I want my be able to still minister to people. I think that's the that's the dopest thing I think about that is music. Powerful. That is, I'm <laughs> yeah. taking that, that's powerful, that's very yeah. powerful. Say that again, <laughs> say that again. When I leave this world, I'm still ministering to people when I'm dead and gone. That's probably the dopest thing to me, not only about music, about, is it about, but about video. When you're dead, when you're dead and gone from this world, that video, still hear of you yeah. like people that music more. yeah that music video that blog whatever you whatever you did people still gonna go back to that it can be blessed and helped by it the same thing with music when you're dead and gone it's crazy because it's been proven that when you die every artist their music spikes it goes up because because when you die and you did music people automatically gonna go and listen and listen to you. people that never listened to you before They'll go listen to you after you die and say, okay, let me hear uh, hear him. Yeah, but that is as music. As a husband and as a father, I want to have be able to, you know, do something to where my son can look at and be encouraged and believe and know that nothing is impossible, that his dreams can come true. Whatever he dream of doing, whatever his dreams and ambitions are. So one thing that I made um, a mission to do is every album that I make, I make sure I frame it and put it on the wall. Not for me to look at and boast and say, oh, look what I did, so that when I die, my son can be able to go and look at those things and be encouraged to say, look what daddy did. If daddy did this, you know, I can do it too. I can, I can fulfill my dreams too. So as a father and as a husband, and as a husband, I want my wife to be able to say, to be closer to God because of my life. You know what I mean? Because of my life, because of the example that I led, the example that I that I had, she can she she she's a better follower of Christ because of my life. Because she was married to me, not only follower of Christ, but just a better overall person because she was connected one with me. You know what I mean? It's like to have that kind of impact is what I strive for. And just as a human being, I want to be known for love, love. Because if we ain't got love, you ain't got nothing. I want to be. I want to be known for how I treat people, how I want to be treated, being kind to others, helping others, um, and just being about my father's business. <clears throat> That's very good, very inspiring, all right? <laughs> all right, so you know what? Now, you know, my fishing folks know I'm following my dream. I'm fishing, taking celebrities fishing. And mm -hmm. my brother right here, Alan, he's following his dream. He's into the music, heavy, 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 mm -hmm. heavy. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> so now, what would you say to somebody who's on the fence about following their dreams they have a little bit of fear they're kind of reluctant to take the first step what would you say to somebody that would just put a rocket ship on their back today ah. so they would stop wasting time and follow your dream because we i cannot express it enough follow your dreams folks right mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> what would you i would say, would you say to them? 
the number one way you, your dreams will never come true is if you never try. Say it to the people, please. If, if you never try, that's 100% guarantee that it ain't gonna happen. So if you have a dream and an aspiration, that dream and that aspiration, it comes from God. It comes from your maker, your creator. He put something inside of all of us to do. He put a desire, he put a gift and a talent inside of you. And not only did he put the gift and talent there, the desire. If you have a desire to do something, it's there for a reason. So I would say, go for it. If you just get started and do the best that you absolutely can with what you have, because I know a lot of people talk about, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough, uh, enough of this or enough of that. Well, but you got something, you got something. Do the best with what you got. Um, and don't worry about what other people are gonna say. I think that's another thing that holds people back is we're worried about what people are gonna think. Don't get, don't be, don't be a slave to other people's opinions. You go forward and what God is leading you to do and what you feel the desire to do, you go forward and and just let, and let people think what they wanna think. If people wanna talk negative about you, let them talk, you go forward and what God has called you to do. Mm -hmm. A lovely conclusion. Uh, mm -hmm. Fishing folks, mm -hmm. uh, it's hot, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we in the field, I'm out here sweating because yeah. I'm hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But uh, you know what? Hey, Alan, I thank you. Really appreciate it. Appreciate you. Well, man. I hope that a lot of people, hope everybody's inspired, okay, by his word, by my word, by the fishing, you know, by the crickets in the background, <laughs> whatever, get whatever tickets you fancy. All right, <laughs> fish folks, you know what? This is gonna be a wrap for us. We're gonna go ahead and drink some water. Yeah. All right, and uh, probably snack a little bit. I know I got a. Uh, hankering and craving for some yeah. chocolate chip cookies. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> okay, but I caught some fish. I'm mm -hmm. satisfied. My man here is satisfied. Okay, yeah. so we're going to end this. Get up off the couch. It's time to go fishing. Get up out the house. It's time to go fishing. Go and get the kids. It's time to go fishing. You'll be glad you did. It's time to go fishing.